Never has the return of a track to the World Cup circuit been more highly anticipated. Champry is the track that would make or break the title chase. Minimising mistakes was the name of the game for the top guys. Just staying on the bike was enough for everyone else. Are you guys happy? Yeah, yeah. really happy. <laughs> Give me a roll, cause I'm falling. No more sure, they got me. All these years I've been calling, trying to stop. made a few little mistakes but I think everybody's going to have made a little mistake on that run. It pissed down before the start so the actual main line, the rut that we'd made while we'd been practicing was just run like a river. Water was running down it but I know when that happens that the grip's where the water is so I just stayed in the groove, stayed in the river and I had a couple of like ball rides and feet off and <laughs> stuff like that which uh, you're going to get on that run. So. Chase the devil out to sea. I just wanted to, to put a run together that was solid and like I stayed on the bike. And, you know, I knew how easy it would be to, to crash up there, so just put a steady run in. I could do it again, maybe put a bit more in, but it's going to be hard. You know, we we'll have to see how it is tomorrow. wasn't good enough and you know I'm down in 15th but you know luckily it's only semi-finals and I, I know I lost a lot of points to G today but um, we'll take a look at it and uh, just have a, hopefully have a better race tomorrow you know it's it's really one big rut down there and you just have to be smooth and stay in it and grind it as fast as you can and unfortunately in the semi-final I just couldn't do it. <laughs> This year. Oh, and oh, he's just making good. light work of this. Oh, oh he's five and a half seconds up. So Minara is on a run here under pressure as well. Look at the skills that dude's got. Look at him, man. He makes it. He makes it look like it's dry. You know, we all talk about G being favourite on a course like this. The guy who's in second of the World Cup at the moment, but this man is going to be hard to beat. Look at the style of him. And Minara actually going so quick, he had to squash that. He's going to come into this. He's short oh to go fast. He's, he's absolutely strong. Oh, look at the time. Point eight, point seven, seven up for Greg Minara from South Africa. A new benchmark has been set here this afternoon. And this is Brendan Fairclough. Here he is. Riding for Monster Specialized. Now he has got a golden opportunity here this afternoon to take his first. 
Brendan has definitely got the skills. Oh, he's up! He's up! He's up, no, it's 1.01 up for him. Brendan has got it all to prove this afternoon, holding on to that bike. He's just got to keep his composure. Unbelievably skilled, oh. his fair club. Look at that, just hops over there. Oh my God, he's oh. got a What a wow. maniac! That was messier than a clown running through a minefield, but he kept it on two wheels. And into the final bit of the course, Brendan is oh. on fire. Dublin everything, this is a man who's got the skills to pay the bills. Oh, yes, he's, he's still he's up just. Oh, he takes that high line. Dude, this is going to be the fastest time bar and a mistake from him. Can he keep it together for this last part of the course? Well, the Brendan has got to carry some speed now. I think he's only one turn away from setting up the fastest time here this afternoon. 57, 58. He's gonna, no. no, he's not going to do it. And Minar holds on to the hot seat. But here's the man, G. Atherton, the challenger for the overall World Cup title with Minar. Let's see what G's got this afternoon. Well, G, this is a crunch time for him. He needs to close that point. And these conditions, you would have to say, absolutely made for G. Atherton. And G is 1.78 oh up. That is massive from G. Two seconds. Well, where's he found that? That is absolutely huge. This is brilliant stuff. So we're going to see him. He's coming down through the woods. He's going to come out of the open. We're going to see that all important second split. This is going to be interesting to see what he's done on the, some of the parts of the track we haven't been able to see. Just takes a tear off off of that last part of the course. He's so strong mentally. No, we saw that in Val de Sol two years ago. Both his brother and he his looks sister fast. had an injury. Nothing seems to face G-Man. This is fast, Rob. It is fast. Look, this looks like it's dry. Oh, my God. Oh, look at the time. 3.85 up. This is huge, Rob, from Atherton. He's had a second in round one. He won in full Williams, second in Leergang. The guy has not been out of the top two this year. He's taking every chance. Is it going to be enough? It is, I think, if he can get round this last He's corner. Done it. He has done it, Come surely. on, G-Man. Get on those pedals, G. He has took it apart. Amazing. Look at the time. 2.79 up. You're having an amazing season, like we said. You haven't been outside the top two all year. But, you know, Minar is so consistent. You're actually still, you've closed up on him. But it was a big race for you today, wasn't it, in the overall? Yeah, it was uh, it was a massive uh, a massive race for me. You know, I closed a lot of points down, but but Greg's still leading, and you know he's shown how consistent he is this year. He's he's performing on every track, and yeah. and you know that's that's really putting the pressure on me because you know I, there's not a race I can turn up to anymore where I'm like you know I've got Greg here. I've... Thanks a lot, Gene. Congratulations nice today, mate. Well yeah, done. Cheers, Warner. Good work. Good ride, Ricky. Yeah, thanks, man.